Hi, I'm Zoe and this is Headbangers Ball News. Metallica have recorded seven studio albums in 16 years and played at every stadium that you could possibly imagine. With their latest album load, they cut their hair, got a new look and mellowed out a bit. Their reinvention is happening in stages and is still continuing on their latest offering, Reload. We took a trip to Hamburg for a special Metallica gig and a very exclusive interview. Totally different from any any set we've ever played ever. We're not relying on our, our, our concert favorites, you know, our old standards or any of the hits. Um, it's all the stuff we haven't played in the last 15 years, and uh, it's really exciting for us. It's fun to get really close again. Uh, even though in our live shows, the big shows, arenas, we try and get as close as possible still, but it's hard with you know so many people wanting to come see us. Um, it's not a horrible problem, but <laughs> um, getting into the small clubs again and sweating with everyone is just a lot of fun. It's a great situation to be in that you can go play a gig like Stuttgart three months ago for 45,000 people or whatever and then come back three months later and play for 800 people in a small place or whatever it is. It, it's great to be able to crisscross back and forth like that. It's, um, it's a good, good position to be in. Especially when you can do it by choice, not that you have to play clubs. <laughs> The special gig signaled the end of a project which has taken the band nearly three years to complete. First there was Load, a tour, more gigs, then back in the studio for another album, Reload. I see Reload as, uh, as the, you know, the final chapter of the Load ses sessions. I mean, now the Load sessions are completed. They're all recorded and they're, it's finally ready to be released you know, as it was originally meant to be, you know, as 27 songs. The only difference is there's a year in between both albums. Metallica are one busy band, and the question has to be asked, when will they find time to take a rest? We are taking three months off, in December, January, and February for the first time, as long as I can, for the first time since 94. And uh, so just um, trying to chill out, trying to not answer the phone, which I'm very bad at. And um, trying just to get some rest, really. Like, do nothing. That's what I do worse, is do nothing. And I try and get better at that. And I'm not very good, like I said, but trying to just do nothing would be great. But by taking time off doesn't mean the end. I have a lot of things on a list that I keep in my head of things that I want to do one day, but I'm not in a hurry. Metallica is the only band I have been in. Metallica is the only band I will ever be in. When Metallica is over, I will walk away from this holding my head up high, and I will go and do all these other things I want to do. Um, but I'm not in a hurry, and uh, when that day comes, I'll jump in and have some fun at a different level. <laughs> There's no half measures. There's only Metallica. After five years, Metallica return exploding on stage with awesome power. Metallica, ready to blow with their new album, Reload. Metallica Live. Presented by MTV and Michael Koppel. Tickets on sale Monday. Hi, I'm Zoe and this is Headbangers Ball News. Metallica's seventh album, Reload, recently debuted at the number two spot on the Australian album charts. The band are taking to the road to tour the album and will kick off the 1998 Australian leg in Brisbane on March 31st and extra dates have been added in Sydney, Melbourne and Perth. We were there when tickets went on sale this week.
Metallica! 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 The boys? Ah, uh, Metallica. Metallica! I've been sleeping out since Saturday. Jason Newstead. I really want to see Jason. They're the best fan. Heavyweight medal champions of the world. I would miss this concert of the world. I've got to see them, man. It's only sleep, I don't need it. People work for Metallica. The best band in the world. Easy. I don't mind, Lloyd. It's, it's a little bit weird, but I think it's a good experiment. I prefer the earlier stuff. Playing, um small places like clubs is a lot of fun because it gives you a chance to get so much what you thrive on being in a band is eye contact and the energy that you get back from the people you can see and when you actually have eye contact with like 600 people or whatever that's just a great thing Sometimes it's nice to get you just really back to basics and um, that's like which is what we're doing next week is just playing a bunch of old songs to you know six eight hundred people and feeding off that. The music, the vibe, just going to the concert and everyone will be just rocking the energy, the power. I think that Jason and Lars should appreciate the kind of loyalty that they're getting from their fans when you feel good like this, the have been so strong. Without a doubt, the second biggest festival snaking its way around America is Summer Sanitarium. Although still in its infant years, this year's lineup attracted some of the biggest names in the biz. This tour is amazing. Metallica's a really good live band. We're having a blast. We're having to go out there each night and uh, turn the crowd around, you know what I mean? It's hard because, you know, people are there to see Metallica, so we've been out for a while. Now we got to come back and show them what's up. All the bands are, um, are great, obviously, you know. Uh, we all get along really well. Everybody hangs out a lot, you know. And not only that, but there's such a diverse crowd out there that it really makes every band work really at, at their best to try to win over everybody in the crowd. So it's awesome. Who have you had the toughest time trying to win over? I think Metallica fans are definitely the hardest fans to win over because those are the kind of guys that just sit there and you're like, F you. Oh, sorry. Metallica! But um, I respect that because, you know, that's the kind of fans that I want to have. You guys have a personal highlight in the show that some kid is spending 55 to 75 dollars of his lunch money to come see the show what is the number one personal highlight that they should look forward to in the metallica set for me it's at the end at end of the set you know after we've said all our goodbyes and we kind of like just get together and like you know hug after the show in front of the audience <laughs> and that to me is like a highlight i don't know if it's a highlight for the kid who spent you know x amount of money but I think it's a cool thing to see, you know, as uh, acknowledging our, each other and, and acknowledging the audience at the same time. How have been people been responding to seeing you guys on, on, on tour in this large of a venue? I think we've had great response, you know. We can tell it's different because we can tell there's new people listening to us this time around, but it's been great for us. What we're you warming it up every day, you know. That's what we're here for, to, to set the pace for the day. And, you know, everybody's just got to follow it. Everybody raises the bar, so it makes it a great tour. Well, has it been easy for you guys to tour with each other again? Is it, is it, is it good to be back on the road? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I can pretty much speak for the, all of us when I, I say we're having a great time on tour. I'm just glad to be here, man. I just so appreciate the fact that we're still a band and we're, we made an excellent album and we're on a great tour. And, Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Kirk will be able to thank us in person when he and Metallica arrive in Australia for their sold-out tour in January. And it seems Fred Durst was right. Winning over Metallica fans is no easy feat. Last week in Chicago at the Summer Sanitarium Tour, 
Limp Biscuit was pelted with bottles. After spitting out an abusive tirade to the audience, Fred was forced to leave the stage after just six songs. Now, I hope you don't feel the same way about me. If you throw bottles at your TV, you won't be able to watch next week's edition of The Week That Is. On it, you'll